I don't just work on cars at the workshop. Sometimes I find some interesting car related pieces locally. And this is my next project. A 5.9 litre Aston Martin DB9 V12 engine block, which I'm going to turn into a table in the style that was seen on Top Gear a few years ago. This block was once putting out 450 horsepower, 420 pounds foot into the engine bay of this first generation DB9 built between 2003 and 2012. I've made a couple of engine tables before. The first was this 5 litre V8 supercharged AJ133 engine that's fitted in the F-Type R. I cleaned it up and powder coated it and it now is a very nice gin and tonic store. The owner also has an F-Pace SVR which has got this engine too. The second was from a Porsche 911 3.4 Carrera race car. The Aston block came from a car that had an engine replacement and it needed blasting to tidy it up. I've had this block for about two years now and a friend of mine has asked if I could turn it into a table to put in the newly refurbished head office for his business. Now I did some work on this a while back and it sprayed in a generic silver colour. I wanted to get it to look like the original cast aluminium finish. But the penny dropped recently that I really ought to spray it in an Aston Martin colour. So I've got hold of this Aston Martin model. Now I think this is in tungsten silver. I'll get it paint matched at the local paint shop and spray the block in this colour and then clear coat it. And I think if I then mount the model on top here, slightly raised off the top of the block, I think that'll look excellent. As far as the table mounting is concerned, these are four of the original 12 pistons and con rods. Now I've seen other people mount the table on top of the pistons like this. So now I've decided on my paint colour, I need to go to my local paint factor and get a colour to match this. I'm going to section off this part of the workshop to use as a paint booth. Now I can spray it. Now I've made my little paint booth, I need to do a little bit of preparation on this. Time for a bit of a clean up, degrease, and um, just sanding a few localised areas. I'm going to spray it upside down at first, but first I need to move it onto this bench so I can get access to both ends. Before I move on any further, I'm just looking at what I'm going to do with these feet that I've bought to mount it on. I don't really like the look of this kind of chrome or stainless steel look, so I think I'm going to just scuff these up a little bit to um, provide a key to prime and then paint them satin black. So then on top, 
These are big holes in the top of the casting for the cooling channels. I don't really want them open, so I've made a plate here to close this up. My next task is to sort out these pistons and con rods. Now I've cleaned off most of the oil and the residue from combustion. Now I'm going to have a go at using some of this Autosol metal polish to clean up the piston face. It's nice that this is a nice flat surface on which to rest the table, so that's uh, an advantage. On this side you can actually see where the valve shape was on the probably the exhaust side of the combustion chamber. So it would have been inlet this side and exhaust that side. Thanks very much for watching. Please join me next time when I'll be getting the model mounted on top, getting the glass cut and mounted, and another couple of finishing touches as well.